All right, with uh, the last set of notes and these set of notes, we're trying to show some of the strangeness that makes human phenotypes different than what Mendel saw in his pea plants. So while what Mendel, how Mendel said that genes are, are transferred through the generations, you get half from mom, half from dad, that still exists. Genes are still passed on the same way. What we're looking at is the phenotype. How is the phenotype? different. So today we're going to look at uh, sex chromosomes. So remember with sex chromosomes, if you're female, you have two X chromosomes. If you're male, you have an X and a Y chromosome. Uh, some people say those are the sex chromosomes. I'm not sure I would say that. Uh, the X chromosome is vital. Everybody needs a working, functioning X chromosome or you're not alive. Uh, in my mind, only the Y chromosome is a sex chromosome. That's the only one that really determines sex. If you don't have a Y, you're female. If you have a Y, you're going to become a male. Uh, but because of that and how important the X chromosome is, we do see some interesting phenotype ratios because of that. Normal females will follow typical genes, dominant recessive possibilities. In males, however, because they only have one X chromosome, we see some uh, phenotype difference that occur there. We see certain genes pop up a lot more in males than we see in females. So we're going to talk about that today. So uh, let's look at the chromosome. So remember the karyotypes that we saw before. We've got all of these referred to as body chromosomes, somatic chromosomes, autosomes, however you want to call them. And we have this one pair of sex chromosomes. So all humans have 23 pairs. And if you're female, you have two X chromosomes. And if you're male, you got an X and a Y chromosome. So let's just take a look at what's the possibility of being a boy or a girl based on the Punnett square. So the male's XY, female's XX. We put them over the Punnett. X here, Y here, X here. X there. So remember on the sides, one chromosome on each square, and inside there will be two chromosomes in there. Okay, so basically uh, we take the females, X, 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 X. So these moved as you recall, this, this is a weird uh, PowerPoint. I think I changed to Google. So this box should be XX female. This box is XX female, and this one should be XY because they're getting the male's Y here, and this one is XY. So in other words, 50-50 is always your chance for offspring. You've got a 50% chance of having a boy or a 50% chance of having a girl. In theory, there are some differences in how uh, zygotes are made and things like that. If you want to learn more about that, take my genetics class. All right, now let's look at uh, what genes are carried on these chromosomes. So sex chromosomes basically carry the genes for gender and other secondary sexual characteristics. So in males, there's definitely some bone structure issues that are found on their Y chromosome that you don't see in the female. Um, an example is the uh, eyebrow ridge. You can see how much further his eyebrow ridge sticks out versus the female. Um, reason is the males were expected to go hunting and uh, having a high brow ridge. If something tried to cover your face, you'd probably keep your eyes, which you kind of need if you're a hunter. All right. Notice the X chromosome is much larger than the Y. It carries a lot of genes. This isn't really about sex when it terms the X chromosome. There's a lot of interesting genes on there, like your ability to clot blood is on there. If you did not have that gene, your blood doesn't clot and you'd be, have hemophilia. So hemophilia is referred to as a sex-linked gene. It's on the X chromosome. We're going to talk about color blindness, another uh, sex-linked trait. And uh, most people know that males have trouble seeing color sometimes. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
and that's because it's a sex link trait. So a uh, color blindness test would look something like this. It's usually some sort of green and red variation. You might see it the other way around where the number is green and the background is red, but it's the same sort of thing. So everybody should be seeing the number six in this particular. All right, so the color blindness gene is carried on the X chromosome. And uh, we're going to use the symbol XC. So we're going to actually label the X chromosome. The Y will never be labeled. The Y is just the Y. The Y does not have any genes for color blindness, so it will not have any, um, doesn't have any genes for color. It doesn't have any genes for hemophilia or blood clotting. It doesn't have those things. So it's just Y. We're never putting anything on the Y, just on the X if it has that particular trait of interest. So we have... Uh, different possibilities for males and females. So we can have, uh, if a female has two X chromosomes with a color blindness gene on them, she would be colorblind. Uh, if she had only one color blindness gene, and one normal X, she'd just be a carrier. She carries the gene, but she doesn't have the color blindness because this X chromosome is uh, overriding it. It's giving her the ability to see color. Uh, there's also another uh, genotype for females. You could have two normal Xs and just be normal. No. Uh, colorblind males would be, uh, they'd have just one X chromosome with the color blindness gene on it and a normal Y. Normal male would just be XY. All right, so let's have a, a carrier female uh, having babies with a normal male. Let's do that Punnett square. So basically normal male, X, Y. And then we put XC here, X. And then we fill in the square. So an XC, X, that means we've got a carrier female here. XC, Y, we've got a colorblind male. XX, normal female, XY, normal male. So when we look at these XY genes, it's telling us two things. One is, does it have the trait we're looking at, in this case, color blindness, and is it male or female? So keep that in mind with sex lean traits, you will be expected to know whether it's a boy or a girl, along with that. So a Y, they're a boy. All right, so basically we got one fourth of each uh, trait here half and then half are males and half are females. That kind of thing goes on. All right, another way of looking at it is this way, in which if you're Y, you're a normal male. If you're XY here, you're affected because you got the affected trait from the female. So generally, if you've got some sort of disorder, uh, it's the mother that's passing it on. So if anyone's ever seen the movie uh, Lorenzo's Oil, that was an X-linked trait going on there, and it was passed on by the mother. Uh, since those boys all die fairly young, they never can pass it on, so they'll never be an affected female. The female can only have one trait. I'm from her mother. All right. So that is sex-linked traits. So you might want to check... Uh, the uh, edge elastic again there'll be some questions on that use your notes to do it uh, again if you want to retake it let me know and i will reset the edge elastic test because it's a practice we're just trying to learn how to do that um, it's a little hard for me to do practice punnett squares with you just on a video um, uh, the way it is with this learning uh, certainly take the edge elastic several times if you all right, that's it.